Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and had a lovely week, whatever you've been up to, and welcome to another Six Round Pub Quiz. If it is your first time here, welcome to my channel. It's a really easy game to play, Six Round Pub Quiz. I'll explain all the rules and the rounds as we go along. I just recommend, if you like to play along and keep track of your score, as many people do, go and get yourself a pen and paper. Make it a whole lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was, in the last 28 days, what percentage of my viewers are male? 60% to the dot. So very well done if you were close to that guess. It definitely made a difference on this week's leaderboard, which we will look at now. So these are all the single players, everybody who finished between first and 10th. And there you go, some brilliant scores. Well done to you all. In third place is Bootneck Chefname with 63. Well done to you, great score. Second place, Louise with a brilliant, brilliant 66. Fantastic quiz in Louise. And top spot this week is Bob with an amazing 68. Well done, Bob. Very impressive. Uh, well done to you all. And a big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. So we look at the teams. These are all the teams from first to 10th. And there you go, very, very close at the top. But um, yeah, so third place is Robin Danielle with 69. Great quizzing, well done to you both. Second place is Team Golden Wolf, again with uh, top mark 70. Well done to your team, really impressive. And top spot this week is STP, also with 70 and just winning on the tiebreaker. So well done to your team, well done to you all. And a big thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared and commented on the video. So the six rounds this week, round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week, the double points round, is a first and last round. Round four is the connection round. Round five is a alliterations round. And the final round is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. As always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. So round one is the picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc. And you have 14 seconds for each. Number one, who is this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, um, name the vehicle. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? And number five, name the video game. And number six, what is this? Number seven, name the film from this movie poster. Number eight, is the flag of which territory? Number nine, uh, name the breed of cat. And the last one, what is this a close up of?
So round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, which commentator interviewed Vladimir Putin last week? Number two, which former James Bond actor voiced the dragon in the 1996 film Dragonheart? And number three, I come home in the morning light. My mother says, when you're going to live your life right. Oh, mama dear, we're not the fortunate ones. Are the opening lyrics to which song? And number four, can you name these animated characters? Half a point for each. Number five, the third and goes fourth a series titles in which British sitcom? Number six, which city in the USA is the title of a Will Smith song released in 1997? Number seven, complete the subtitle of the 2017 Pirates of the Caribbean film, Dead Men Tell No Blank. Fill in the blank. And number eight, which singer headlined the halftime show at this year's Super Bowl? Number nine, One Night in Bangkok and I Know Him So Well are songs from which musical? And the last one, number 10. On the UK version of The Chase, which chaser has the highest win percentage? Is it Mark Labette or Anne Hegarty? That's the end of the first two rounds. I hope you're scoring well so far. I will go through the answers and then round three and four will start immediately after. So the answers for round one, number one, this TV or movie star is John Cleese. Number two from the world of music, it's Alicia Keys. Number three, the vehicle. It is real, it's not from a film. It is the Tesla Cybertruck. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? That is a young Tyson Fury. Number five, name the video game. It is Wii Sports. Number six, do you know what this is? It is the Hadron Collider or the Large Hadron Collider. And number seven, the film from the movie poster is Shutter Island. Number eight is the flag of Greenland. And number nine, the breed of cats. I can get very large. It is a Maine Coon. And the last one, number 10, the close up. It's a close up of a daisy. So the answers for round two, number one, which commentator interviewed Vladimir Putin last week? Tucker Carlson. 
And number two, which former James Bond actor voiced the dragon in the film Dragonheart? Is Sean Connery. Number three are the opening lyrics. Two girls just want to have fun. And number four, the animated characters from the Jungle Book. On the left is Baloo and on the right is Shere Khan. And number five, the third and goes fourth, a series titles for Black Adder. And number six, which city in the USA is the title of a Will Smith song is Miami. Number seven, complete the title to this uh, Pirates of the Caribbean film, Dead Men Tell No Tales. And number eight, which singer headlined the halftime show at this year's Super Bowl? It's headlined by Usher. Number nine, One Night in Bangkok, and I know him so well, are from the musical Chess. Which leaves the last one on the UK version of the chase. Which chaser has the highest win percentage? Mark or Anne? It's very close, but it's Anne. So round three is the first and last round. Now this is a round where there are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs, the way this round works. You will see a question in the middle of your screen, screen sorry, that requires two answers. Now it is multiple choice, there are six to choose from at the bottom, uh, and it's asking for the first or the greatest or the most common or something, and or, or the, the last, least common, etc. So I'll give an example. Say the question was, in the periodic table, which element comes first? and which comes last there'll be a there'll be six to choose from at the bottom if you manage to pick uh, what comes first and last so first is hydrogen and last is oganescent if you manage to get those correct you'll get two points if you only manage to pick the first or only manage to pick the last you'll get one point so I hope that makes sense I've given you around 20 seconds for each question uh, if you need a bit longer with this round you can just pause it make your selection and then move on anyway I do hope you enjoy and good luck
Round four is the connections round. The way this round works, there are four questions that come up on your screen. You'll get one point for every correct answer that you give, and then something links the answers to those four questions. If you can find that connection, you'll get another point. So five points available in total in this round. Um, and at the end, once you've had your four questions, all four come up on screen at once, and you have about 25 seconds to figure out the connection. Now, if you do need longer, pause the video, give yourself a minute or two. If you can't get it after then, then move on. Uh, I think it's quite tricky this week, so I really hope you enjoy, and best of luck finding that connection. So the answers around three, number one, who was the first US president to be assassinated and who was the last? The first was Abraham Lincoln and the last was John F. Kennedy. Number two, in numerical order, which of these traditional bingo calls comes first and which comes last? So number one is Kelly's eye and number 90 is top of the shop. Number three, alphabetically, the capital city of which of these countries comes first and last? First is the United Arab Emirates, which is Abu Dhabi, and the last is Croatia, which is Zagreb. Number four, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which film was released first and last? First was Iron Man, and the latest is The Marvels. Number five, by body weight, when fully grown, what is the largest and smallest bird in the world? The largest, largest sorry, is the ostrich, and the smallest is the bee hummingbird. Number six, according to a happiness report, what is the happiest and saddest countries in the world? The happiest is Finland, and the saddest is South Sudan. Number seven, what is the most common blood type and the rarest? The most common is O positive, and the rarest is AB negative. And number eight, who finished top of the English Premier League last season? Who finished bottom? The winners were Manchester City, and bottom place was Southampton. Number nine, which planet in our solar system has the longest day and which has the shortest? The longest is Venus and the shortest is Jupiter. And the last one, uh, number 10, during his lifetime, what was Michael Jackson's first solo number one and his last? His first was Ben and his last was You Are Not Alone. Well done if you got most of those. So the answers for the connections round number one, Navajo Nation is the largest Indian tribe in the United States. What is the second? It is Cherokee. Number two, Real Comfortable Jeans is a slogan of which American clothing company? Wrangler. Number three, traditionally on a ship, what is stored in the binnacle? It is the compass. And number four, fill in the missing lyric to this song by Fatboy Slim. It's back once again for the, when it gets there, Renegade Master. So what connects, Cher connects sorry, Cherokee, Wrangler, Compass and Renegades? They are all models of Jeep, past and present. So really well done if you got that connection.
that's the end of round four. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Let me know if you got that connection. I felt it was difficult. Some people say, oh, it's too easy. And other people, uh, yeah, if you don't know it, you don't know. I, I have a Jeep Renegade, which is why I sort of came up with that question. Now, this is the point of the quiz that I ask. If you are enjoying it, please just take 10 seconds out to click that like button. So many people did last week, and last week's video has done really, really well. And I'm sure it's because it has it's had more likes than usual. So please, if you are enjoying it, just 10 seconds, click that like button. It'd be very much appreciated. It will now go into round five and six. The answers will follow immediately after and there will be that tie break at the end. So watch out for that. Round five is the alliterations round. Very easy round to play. There are 10 questions, uh, each which have a two word answer, which are alliteration. So it's just where the first letter of the first word is the same as the first letter of the second word. So for example, say the question was, uh, who famously sailed to America in 1492? The answer is Christopher Columbus. Obviously C at the start of Christopher and C at the start of Columbus. So you have 15 seconds for each one. I'm sure that's enough time and good luck. Number one, the 123 Success Program, Momentum Plan, and WW Freestyle are all points based programs by which company? They have approximately 4.5 million members worldwide. Number two, which wrestling event involves 30 competitors trying to throw their opponents out of the ring? Number three. The Silver Pagoda is a Buddhist temple found in which capital city? Number four, in 1928, which fictional character made his public debut in the animated short film, Steamboat Willie? Number five, which politician, politician famously said, the nine most terrifying words in the English language is I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Number six, GG's is a commonly used term said amongst players in online video gaming. What does it stand for? Number seven, which Scottish rock bands are named after someone whose assassination led to World War I? Number eight, better known for her role in a popular TV show, which actress appeared in the films Masters of the Universe, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, and all six Scream movies? Number nine, which Mongol leader ruling between 1260 to 1294 was the grandson of Genghis Khan? And last one, number 10, Alan Rickman played which character in the Harry Potter film franchise? The final round, round six, is a general knowledge. There are 10 questions and you'll have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, which creature produces royal jelly? Number two, signed in 1921, the Treaty of Ankara was between France and which other country? Number three, 
Number three, which size of paper measures 148.5 millimeters by 210 millimeters? Number four, Dudley Nichols did it in 1935, George C. Scott did it in 1971, and Marlon Brando did it in 1973. What is it? Number five, how old was Princess Diana when she died? Now you can be two years above or below with your guess. Number six, the toy company Lego originates from which country? Number seven, endocarditis affects which organ in the body? Number eight, which landlocked lake in the Middle East is also called the Salt Sea? Number nine, in athletics, races are run in which direction? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? And the last one, number 10. The central part of a daffodil shares its name with which musical instrument? So the answer to round five, number one, the one, two, three success program, Momentum Plan and WW Freestyle are points based programs by Weight Watchers. Now I didn't realize till after the quiz, they've rebranded their name as WW. So if you put Weight Watchers or just WW, give yourself the point. Number two, which wrestling event involved 30 competitors throwing their opponents out of the ring? That is the Royal Rumble. Number three, the Silver Pagoda is a Buddhist temple in the capital, in which capital city? Phnom Penh. Number four, which fictional character made his public debut in the film Steamboat Willie? The short film is Mickey Mouse. Number five, the nine most terrifying words in the English language are I'm from the government and I'm here to help, was said by Ronald Reagan. Number six, Commonly used term in video gaming, uh, what does GG stand for? It stands for good games. Obviously good game is fine as well. Number seven, which Scottish rock bands are named after someone whose assassination led to World War I? Franz Ferdinand. Number eight, who appeared in Masters of the Universe, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective and all six Scream movies is Courtney Cox. Number nine, the Mongol leader, sorry, and also the grandson of Genghis Khan is Kublai Khan. And the last one, number 10, Alan Rickman played which character in the Harry Potter film franchise? He played Severus Snape. Well done if you got most of those. The answer to round six, number one, which creature produces royal jelly? It's created by the bee. Number two, signed in 1921, the Treaty of Ankara is between France and Turkey. Number three, which size of paper should be an S at the end of measure measures 148.5 by 210, that is A5. Number four, Dudley Nichols did it in 1935, George C. Scott in 1971, and Marlon Brando in 1973, they all refused an Oscar. Well done if you got that one. 
the, the clue was really Marlon Brando. Number five, how old was Princess Diana when she died? She was only 36, so anywhere between 34 to 38 for the point. Number six, the toy company Lego originates from which country it comes from? Denmark. Number seven, endocarditis affects which organ in the body? It affects your heart. And number eight, which landlocked lake is also called the Salt Sea? That is the Dead Sea. Number nine, in athletics, uh, races are run in which direction, clockwise or anti-clockwise? They are run anti-clockwise. And the last one, the central part of a daffodil shares its name with which musical instruments? That is a trumpet. Good job if you got that one. So now for this week's tiebreaker. Remember, when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It always makes a difference. So the question this week, very similar to last week, a little bit lazy of me, I know. The question is, over the last 28 days, what percentage of my views come from the UK? So over the last 28 days, what percentage of my views come from the UK? Good luck with your guess. So that's the end of the quiz. A huge thank you to everybody who played. I do hope you had fun. It certainly was fun to make. So just before I finish up, I have a few, actually quite a few shout outs to do. So I'll start by wishing Kieran a very happy 22nd birthday. Happy birthday to you, Kieran. Uh, Monica, happy 22nd birthday also to you. Happy birthday, Monica. Have a lovely day. Happy 20th birthday to Brooke. Happy birthday, Brooke. A happy 17th birthday to Tom P. Happy birthday, Tom. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. A happy Happy birthday to King Stevie. Obviously a very important man. Happy birthday, King Stevie. Have a great time. A happy 30th birthday to Brett. Uh, happy birthday, Brett. Celebrating in style in Grand Canaria. Have a great, great birthday and holiday. A happy belated birthday to James Bewley. Happy belated, belated birthday, James. I hope you had a wonderful day. A happy 80th birthday to Michael Bartlett. Happy birthday, Michael. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. Happy 18th birthday to Makara. Happy birthday, Makara. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Happy 17th birthday to Anurin. Happy birthday, Anurin, again to you. Hope you have a lovely, lovely time. Happy 27th birthday to Connor. Happy birthday, Connor. Hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, happy 18th birthday to Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. 18 years old. I'm sure you have lots and lots of fun. And the last of the birthdays, a happy 65th birthday to Richard. Happy birthday, Richard. I hope you uh, enjoy yourself and have a lovely, lovely weekend. So I also would like to say hello to Alicia's Angels. They play the quiz every week. So thank you all for playing and I hope you enjoyed tonight's quiz. Uh, also, uh, Caitlin would like to say a very happy Valentine's Day to her boyfriend, Davis. So uh, from Caitlin, not me, from Caitlin to you, Davis, happy Valentine's Day. And the last one, never done one like this before. Ben would like to shout out for his uh, dad, Matt, and his camper van. So maybe it's a new camper van. It must be a special one. Uh, I go camping once a year. Every time I see a camper van, I'm always a little bit jealous. So um, yeah, hello to uh, Matt and to his camper van. So uh, that's the end of the shout outs. Uh, again, thank you all for playing. I hope you have a lovely weekend, week, whatever it is that you do. And see you next Saturday.